What's going on guys? This is Adrian, North Texas Welding Equipment Repair again. I got a Vantage here. Um, I believe it's an 0809 model. Guy brought it in, said he lost all weld and auxiliary power. Um, there's no amperage reading or voltage reading. Um, go ahead and show you real quick. It's also stuck in high idle. Um, so the first thing I did was drop this panel. You have four screws holding it, two up here on top, two behind this uh, little panel down here, right there on the sides. Drop this panel. And the first thing I, I like to check um, besides the brushes is this this bridge rectifier um, you have power come in from your board up here um, I'll have to check and see which uh, you have power coming into the board and power coming out through uh, I believe this 200 wire here you pull this plug off and just check in here that wire when it's running and make sure that you're getting power out of it if you are um, it should be coming down here to your uh, bridge rectifier and then if your bridge rectifier is good comes through that comes down here to your capacitor down here and I would that's the first thing I would do um, after checking that um, bridge rectifier and seeing if you're getting uh, should be should be 12 to 14 volts down here um, get a meter uh, DC uh, one side of the capacitor is, is your positive one side is your negative uh, you should be getting 12 to 14 volts like I said and that's flashing voltage that go down to your brushes and your brushes are bolted down here to your uh, stator and and then your your uh, brushes you know uh, press up against your slip rings there but I already pulled the brushes off um, brushes are good um, so if you're getting power if you're getting power through your board to your bridge your bridge rectifier is good you're getting 14 12 to 14 volts to your capacitor that means you're getting flashing power to your rotor if that's all good your brushes look good I'd go ahead and check your ohm out your rotor these are known to go bad and that's what happens to be the problem on this one also um, meter here go ahead put your meter on ohms and you should get 25 to 27 ohms between the two slip rings here so you can put one don't matter which one goes where just one prong on one slip ring, one prong on the other. Make sure you got good contact. And I'm getting 1.2 kilo ohms. So that's not anywhere near what it should be. Also like to see if it's grounding out. Uh, neither slip ring should be grounding out to ground the shaft or anywhere else um, so I'll just put it on if it grounds it'll sound so I usually go down here from slip ring each slip ring 
to the shaft. I just put it on right there. See if I get a beep. So it's not grounding out, but I do have a short in there somewhere. Um, usually you can see it whenever you pull it out. Um, whenever you pull out the rotor. Um, usually it has uh, plastic molding. Whenever that gets too hot, the rotor gets too hot one of those moldings break and the windings uh, from the force of it, centrifugal force, uh, work its way out and grounds itself out on the, the poles, one of the poles. Um, but So I'm going to go ahead and uh, if y'all are having the same problem, uh, keep watching and, and uh, tear, show y'all how to tear down this. This vantage is probably my fourth or fifth one that I've done. It's been a little while, but uh, it should come back to me. Um, I'm just going to... Easiest way is just stripping all the, the sheet metal off up top. You're going to want to drain all the fuel out of this tank so it's a lot lighter to, to deal with. Um, but you're just pretty much going to pull this whole front end apart and swing it out the way so you can get to this uh, rotor and stator and uh, you're gonna end up pulling this stator whole stator housing to get get to that rotor and um, go ahead and change it but um, should have the new rotor in this afternoon or um, tomorrow stay tuned